Hey guys, welcome to Water Baby Tarot by Balmy Spirit. For those who are new or those who've been hanging around for a while, you can call me Water Baby or Rodin, whichever one you guys prefer, all right? I prefer Rodin, honestly. Um, but let's go ahead and get into this energy shift reading. So as you know, Mercury's been retrograding through Pisces since the 16th and Mars also moved into Capricorn on the 16th as well. I wanted to wait a couple days to do this energy shift reading. I felt a lot of energy was going to be coming in with this. And oh my, has it ever, okay? We also have the new moon in Pisces coming up. Um, and then as we move into March, there's a lot of other cool things that are going to be going down. But I really just wanted to see where this energy is going to be taking us. So let's just go ahead and dive into it. Let me see, what deck do I want to use? Um, you know, the Honest Truth deck has been calling me a lot lately. So let's get into it. There's a lot of introspective energy at play going on right now. People are really in their heads a lot. A lot of downloads are coming in too, and I think that's just what it is. A lot of downloads and information is coming to us, and we're just trying to like piece it together. Uh, some of you might feel very overwhelmed or overloaded by this, depending on um, what element or sign you tend to lead, lean towards or what propensity you have regarding your uh, your chart, okay? Can't tell you which, which, which what, which what, which what, which <laughs> what? Oh, thank you, Mercury Retrograde. Can't tell you... Uh, what about your charge is making you do that? I just know that I can feel that right now with the collective as I'm talking about it, okay? Jesus. All right. Uh, Mars going into Capricorn. I was actually very excited for this. I feel like it was almost giving us a little bit more discipline and restraint in order to handle this information that we're given, in order to handle being introspective and to not allow us to run away with it. Some of you might still feel a little bit like you're running away with it a little fantastically. I actually, I really feel like that is almost you second guessing yourself. Don't feed into that. Don't feed into doubt. Be very sure of yourself at this time. These energies are allowing us to do that. Okay. It's almost allowing us to sit down with the truth and let us actually see how it all fits together. I feel like is what this energy is doing. Of course, Mars and Capricorn uh, can also lean towards... Um, a little possessiveness, a little possessive like behavior. So be mindful if you're in that boat or even a little stubborn. So as people are coming into the truth, people are also having trouble with the truth. All right. Some people are acting very stubborn once they receive truth, while others are embracing it and really happy about it and can't wait to talk about it or express it. This can lead to some miscommunication, but if someone's not ready to hear the truth, that's their problem, not yours. Okay. Sorry. Getting so many messages. Let's just run with it. Run with it. Any messages for the collective regarding this energy? Yeah, some of you guys are going to feel compelled to want to change people. You can't change people. Just don't even go there. It's okay to speak your truth, but just recognize that not everyone is going to accept your truth. Everyone has their own truth. And I've also talked about this before where... Um, you know, sometimes your truth may differ from someone else's truth, but it needs to be that way because they need to be in a certain place in a certain time that that truth is leading them to that you don't need to be. Yes, that was proper grammar. <laughs> I had to second guess myself on that one. Any messages for the collective regarding this energy? Any messages for the collective regarding this energy? Why am, I, why am I feeling air signs all of a sudden? I just got hit with a lot of air energy. I, my air collective, if you have a propensity towards air energy or if you like to sit in a lot of air energy, I think you guys are might, might be feeling like you're struggling a lot right now. Might be feeling like you're struggling a lot right now. I mean, you guys are very mental anyway because you're air. But Mercury that you're getting through Pisces is also actually aiding a lot of mental energy. And a lot of intuitive energy. You guys just might be feeling really overloaded. It might be what it is. Any messages for the collective regarding this energy? Wow. Okay. Page of uh, wands? Wands? Yes. Whoa. Why did I want to say swords? I knew it was wands, but I wanted to say swords. See, like all this air energy, right? Page of wands in reverse. This is usually my bad news card. Some of you guys are getting so lost in thought that it's actually putting a little bit of a stagnancy on your creative energy. Don't allow that to happen. Creative energy is really important right now. You might feel like something about your creativity is changing. That's okay. Run with it. But yeah, I'm also, I'm also just getting like backlash of people who aren't ready for the truth. Backlash of people who aren't ready for the truth. Backlash of people who aren't ready for the truth. They wanted me to say it three times. 
Yeah, Four of Swords in reverse Libra energy. Four of Swords upright is clarity. It's clarity, recovery, and um, being recharged, being rejuvenated. This is a lack. This is a, a draining, an exhausting, a not having clarity, right? Yeah, I this I'm just getting people who don't want to hear the truth, people who aren't ready for it, or who just are, who are just so triggered by it. They probably just have a lot more work to do. Okay, nothing wrong with that. Just let them do it. Any other messages for the collective regarding this energy? If you're feeling overwhelmed, take a time out, please. A lot of important information is coming to all of us. It's important that we're rested and we're doing some self-care so that we can really handle all the information that's coming in and that we can see it clearly for what it is and act on it. I just heard an act on it. Any messages for the collective regarding the current energy? Jesus, another four. We got two fours here out of three cards. Four of pentacles in reverse. This is a letting go. Letting go of control. Yeah, total surrender. Okay, total surrender. If you don't have the clarity, that is okay. Like I said, take some time out if you need it. Take some time away for yourself if you need it. Um, there's going to be an immense understanding in truth that, oh, yeah, there's no control over anything. And that is something that's really hard for some people to swallow at this time, especially if they've been fighting it for a long time. It almost feels like people who, people who have really fought a lot of their healing and a lot of their inner work are gonna get hit really hard at this time. That's kind of what it's feeling like to me, almost like the people who've been doing their work, like they get it and they're on their way and they're doing it, they're doing it. While the people who've like resisted the whole time, they're gonna get very overwhelmed and overloaded and very triggered right now. Yeah, that's exactly what's coming forward. Yeah, there's a, lo a loss of control over that as well. Control maniacs are gonna have a really tough time. That's well, why did I wanna say maniacs? It's usually control freaks, that's, ooh because it's more severe than that. Okay, yeah. Some really gnarly energies that really struggle with control or who would like to be manipulative, they're losing control right now. They're realizing they don't, they're losing their power. They're, they're feeling powerless. It's making them very upset. And then facing the truth, it's triggering the hell out of them. So if you're experiencing that with someone, just let them, just, just get away from them. Just, just let them do their process, okay? Ooh. This is also continuing in death of masculine energies who've been very resistant. There are some that haven't been, some that have been. This is with every individual, not just men. For those who are new, that we're talking energies, not gender. Okay, so this can even be with anyone in your life. They don't have to be a male to be experiencing that. Any other messages for the collective regarding this energy? Any other messages for the collective regarding this energy? Jesus. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Wow. Yeah. The sun. I'm just getting illumination with that. Leo energy with the eight of swords, Gemini energy, and the three of pentacles in reverse Capricorn energy. Anybody who's not willing to work with you, anybody who's going to fight you or resist you, don't let them trap you. Don't let them trap you. That's part of the truth that you guys are coming into, that anything you've been kept from or any kind of stagnancy you've had in your life that that relates to other people, you're seeing that connection. You're seeing how that's affected you. These could even be ghosts of the past, okay? So it could just be a little bit more of like wounding that needs to take place. But it's it's the things that have kept you really from the shit you want. Yeah, I'm just getting like not like rebellious energies that are keeping you guys stuck you're waking up to that. Anything that's been controlling you, you're waking up to that and you're breaking away from it. This was a this was a really big message in the Taurus monthly reading that I did for Patreon, for new my patrons who are watching who haven't watched it yet. That was big there. Uh, now we also have the moon in reverse. Piscean energy, close be Cancerian for me as a reader with the five of pentacles in reverse. Taurian energy. Yeah, yeah. So the people who have done a lot of their work in the last year or the last few years, you're seeing that it's like, oh, this is the time. This is it. Like I can, I can step into it. This is what I've been prepared for. I'm stepping into it now. You, you're being introspective. You're getting the information. You're getting the truth of whatever it is that's coming to you. And you're like, okay, I got it. Message received, truth received. I'm excited. I'm ready. I'm doing it. Everyone else who's been resisting a lot of their work, they're about to be hit with a bombshell and they're going to freak out. Okay, sorry, they just are. They're going to freak out at this time. I just feel a lot of like last minute breaking away is that should have happened already that are now going to be happening during Mercury retrograde. And it's interesting because Mercury retrograde usually brings people back from the past. But I'm not feeling that. I'm feeling more like break, break. I'm actually hearing break and fracture. 
break, 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 break. And it's happening really, really fast, making these energies kind of freak out. Wow. Overall energy, we have judgment in reverse. Fire energy, also scorpionic energy for me as a reader. No comebacks? I literally just heard no comebacks. There's like fine, yeah, there's break, breaks, breaks. Thank you. Breaks, no comebacks. Finite endings are happening right now and they need to happen. They need to happen. Truth is coming to everybody. And if you need to take a time out to be alone to really marinate on the truth and get your own truth and clarity, do it. Do it. Um, don't let your creative fire get stunted by any of this. Don't let any controlling people who feel like they're losing their power. So the camera just freaked out as I did that. Like hardcore froze on me, the camera as I was recording. I said, so if you're dealing with people who are like freaking out because they're losing their power and it totally froze. Yeah, guys, this is like, this was kind of big shit. I'm going to pause this and then restart it just in case the audio got fucked up. So hold on a second. All right, sorry about that, guys. Like, don't freak out on me. <laughs> so Four of Pentacles in reverse, like I said, that's the that's the feeling of powerlessness from other people who like are like, oh shit, I'm losing control, I'm losing control, I'm losing control. And they never did their work to prepare them for that moment. But then there's a group of you, which I feel like was most of you who watch me, um, who did your work and you're ready for this moment and it's getting you excited and it's like final breaks, no comebacks, no coming back to haunt me from my past, breaking away forever from anything or anyone that's tried to have some kind of power or hold over you or try to use you, interesting, or try to use you or abuse you. You're done with that shit. You're done with it for good. Yeah, I'm feeling that. A group that's excited and a group that's angry and pissed off and like freaking out. All right, so let's clarify this a little bit. A lot of energy in you guys is in this reading there's a lot of energy in this one um yeah let's look at the page of wands in reverse that one's calling to me let's take a peek at that and use crystal crystal visions for this one tell me about page of wands in reverse for the collective tell me about page of wands in reverse for the collective for this energy tell me about page of wands in reverse So I have a page of wands in reverse. <laughs> I just heard the divine is busy. I feel that. I feel that. Tell me about the page of wands in reverse. Tell me about page of wands in reverse. This is an interesting combination. Holy shit. Ace of Cups in reverse and the Ace of Wands. Okay, I know you guys are not going to like this message that just came through. I mean, I'm getting a lot of messages, but there's one big one that just came through. Going for your passion and not getting distracted by charm. There's going to be some charming energies trying to have some kind of pow power over you, but it's in the form of like, like, like a charm, like, yeah, I just keep getting charm, like a romantic, charming energy, being mindful that, that, that doesn't take any kind of big hold in your life or keep you from the shit that you want to do. Go for Ace of Wands, go for your passion. You need to keep striving for your passion and keep going for that. That's going to lead you to happiness. That's going to lead you to stability. Okay. And it's also going to give you more of your power back from anything that's draining it from you. Some of this, some of you guys, no, no, thank you. Most, thank you. They're correcting me. Most of you, this is the truth you're coming into. And it's a truth that some of you really don't want to hear. I'm sorry. I'm just the messenger. I'm also getting that creative, that creativity issue. Almost like your your inspiration, your creative energy is there. It's powerful, but it's being stunted. It's being stunted by trying to figure out the truth or by energies around you that are overwhelming you or draining you. So again, be very mindful of that. Yeah, be very mindful of that. A lot of you, this is also just going to transpire into choosing yourself over other people. Nothing wrong with that. Start with the page of wands in reverse. Time of the Page of Wands in reverse. I've never seen that combination before. Time of the Page of Wands in reverse. Yep, there's the divine. Oh, yep, there it is. Time of the Page of Wands in reverse. Yeah. 
High Priestess in Reverse, Piscean Energy, also Gemini for me as a reader with the Seven of Wands, Leo Energy. High Priestess in Reverse is information coming to you, the truth coming to you, revealing itself to you, and you're going to have to sit with it for a while. Seven of Wands, like I said, it could be very triggering for some people, and for others, it's going to make them feel very empowered and like, yes, I can do this. I can run with this. Get the fuck out of my way, right? But the truth you're spewing to other people, they might react in a very combative, angry, defensive sort of way. If that's the reaction, let them work out their own shit and just get the hell away from them, okay? I'm just... <laughs> Just really in this energy right now. But yeah, major truths coming out. Major truths coming out. And again, this might make you feel overwhelmed. Take time out if you need to. Take care of yourself if you need to. Mercury retrograde does tend to drain people, leaving people a little tired, a little exhausted. But you'll know the difference with Mercury retrograde tiredness. The tiredness is to get you to sit down and to think about shit. That's, that's why we get tired during Mercury retrograde, to make us make sure that we're actually thinking things through. Nothing wrong with that. But if you're around someone and they're draining you, get, just get away from them. Just do it. Just don't even bother. It's not worth sucking the life out of you just for the sake of someone else, you know? Uh, now we have overall energy, the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Virgo energy could also be earth or fire. No growth. Yeah, this is stagnancy. Stagnancy. Just stop letting anything in your life or anyone in your life making you stagnant. This is the truth that's coming to you. The things that have put you in this stagnant energy or the things that have caused you to be delayed in your life or delayed in the things that you want to get to, the things you have a lot of passion for that's just slowed your ass down for no good reason, okay? I know a truth that some of you guys don't want to hear. This is in the form of people, lifestyle choices, all kind of external energies, environments. A lot of you have already been like cutting things out. There's more to there's more to cut out. There's more. And you're going to wake up to that. You're going to realize that during this time. Just own it. Just own it and you're going to feel so much better, honestly, if it, if you're not liking this information, okay? So let's move on. So like I said, the the controlling people losing their power, feeling powerless. The other the other side of that, the people who've been doing their work realizing, "Oh shit, like I I I I don't need to be trapped." I don't need to be trapped with these energies. I don't need to let anyone slow me down or take any energy away from away from me. I don't have to deal with them. I can rebel against them if I want to. And in doing so, you're going to realize that you're going to have a lot more expansion and growth in your life. I don't feel the need to clarify these even more, but I probably should. Uh, just for funsies. Why not? Just for funsies. Someone could have a moon Taurus placement. I don't know why that's coming. That just came in really strong. Moon and Taurus. Wait a minute. Moon and Taurus. New moon in Pisces. No, the new moon's going to be in Aries. That's interesting. Um, yeah, because the next new moon is in Aries, um, Aries, not Taurus. After Pisces, of course. That's so weird. Um, I don't, why does that make me feel so strange? This could be about two new moon, two new moon cycles out as well for all of this to come to final fruition. For some of you, I just, they're screaming that at me, moon and Taurus. They're screaming that at me, moon and Taurus. Um, anyway, I need to get off of that because it's distracting me. Uh, yeah, I'm like, what? Okay, we'll clarify four pentacles in a verse. The, the people who are control maniacs, apparently not just freaks, losing their power, feeling powerless, people who didn't do their work when they should have, okay? Getting hit with these bombshells. So let's look at four pentacles in a verse. I'm going to use Radiant Wise, and then we'll wrap this up. Talking about four pentacles in a verse. Ooh. Okay, one of these big, like, painful bombshells for some people in this group that I'm about to tap into, the control maniacs feeling powerless, uh, there's almost a sense of, like, they always thought they deserved it, which is strange. Like, they always thought they deserved the power. Uh, this feels very, like, toxic masculine to me. Um, always feel like they deserve the power and, like, coming into the realization that that is so not true. Ooh. I don't want to be around that individual or group. <laughs> so I have four of pentacles in reverse. I mean, everyone has their own personal power. I mean, this is feeling more like grabbing power externally is what this group, the specific group I'm tapping into, the specific group felt like they deserved like to externally take power, to externally take control. We all have our own po inner power. We all, like, everyone has their own inner power. This is like, no, I need to take, I need to take, I need to grab, I need to grab realizing that they are not entitled to that. That's going to be a hard pill to swallow. Talking about four of pentacles in a verse. Talking about four 
Four of Pentacles in reverse for the collective for the current energy. Tile Four of Pentacles in reverse. Wow. <laughs> oh, shit. King of Swords. Aquarian energy could also be Gemini or Libra with the Ten of Pentacles. Wow. Oh, it's it's actually hurting my crown. Virgo energy with the Hermit. More Virgo energy. The realization that this entitlement of the Ten of Pentacles, this entitlement of power, going within and realizing, no, you can't take that from others. You can't seize that from other people. And that doesn't make you powerful. Power comes from within. It doesn't come from external shit. It doesn't. That feeling of trust and faith and abundance, all of that, that feeling of where do I go next, that taking ownership, all of, all of that comes from within. You can't take that externally. Yeah, this is energies of I can grab whatever I want and realizing, no, you can't. Not how power works. And does this king not look worried? Why is that not focusing? Wow, it does not want to focus. Yeah, the king looks worried as hell. And again, we're talking energies. We're not talking gender. So just keep that in mind. This could represent a lot of people around you who have this mentality of I'm just going to take, I'm just going to grab, I'm just going to take, I'm just going to grab, I'm just going to take, I'm just going to grab. Power doesn't work that way. Talking about four of pentacles in reverse. God, even realizing that makes them feel very powerless because they haven't worked on their own inner power because they haven't done their work and they've just been looking for it externally, taking it from others. And this is going to be a really hard truth for them. It's going to almost feel like they're hitting rock bottom. Talking about four of pentacles in reverse. Talking about four of pentacles in reverse for the collective, for this current energy. Yeah, eight of swords in reverse, uh, Gemini energy. Yeah, their, their grip on external powers and energies, either they've hooked into people to access their energy or their power, like a, like a manipulative feeding, mooching, narc kind of energy, controlling energy, or whatever they try to do to just take it. All of their, so like their sources, their, su their supply in a way is being cut. Yeah, overall energy, eight of pentacles in reverse. Virgo, wow. Yeah, Virgo energy with the chair in reverse, Cancerian energy. No more grabbing of power. No more grabbing of other people's energy. That cut off. They don't want to be cut off. Okay. Wow. This is intense. This is intense. My crown actually feels overloaded from, from channeling that. So like I said, there's that group who are not going to be happy about this, who might even have like some backlash tendencies when they come into this truth or hear this truth from you guys or the other group, what have you, while the other group is going to be very empowered by the truth that they're getting. Truth is coming out. Truth is hitting all of us on an individual level and on a collective level. And it's going to be very upsetting for those who haven't done their work, who keep looking externally for their shit versus the people who've done their work and look internally. It's going to be a very interesting time, okay? It's going to be an intense time. Um, I'm going to grab a Wisdom Oracle card, and I like to read it from the book, but I feel compelled to use that one, so let's go for it and see what we get, and then we'll wrap this up. Okay. Can I get one card, please, for the advice or any extra messages regarding this reading? Oh. Can I get one card, please, and any advice or any messages pertaining to this reading for the collective? To be fair. Interesting. With 38, breaking down to an 11. Divine master number. To be fair. So with, the, with this um, deck, it actually comes with different types of messages. I might just read them all to you. Let's see. 38, where are you at? There we go, 38. Wow. Balance, justice, a need to consider options, mutual benefit, the law of cause and effect. Hermetics, hermetics at play here. Life offers experiences that are challenging and experiences that are nourishing, yet over time they strike a balance. You move from being from stasis to doing, from discovering, hold on, turning the page, 
to loving, to letting go, to being again. Life is a pendulum swinging between all these states. You will always oscillate back and forth between doing and being. If you are not content with where you are at this moment, remember that all experiences have their place. Accept that. Accept them without judgment and you will see how the universe adjusts in perfect balance. You reap what you sow. For every cause, there is an effect. Wondrous things will be revealed now. So... There's three other like classifications of messages, relationship, prosperity, and protection. I'm just going to read all of them in that order, okay? Can you find a way to achieve fairness right now? This is a time for listening as well as speaking, for understanding as well as asking to be understood. There is much to be learned and you will learn if you remain open and objective, weighing options and considering all sides. Again, that whole like ready to do the work versus resisting it, right? Your heart wants to connect to others, so allow for a balanced exchange of ideas and actions. The best kind of relationship is one in which there is mutual benefit and each party feels heard, valued, and respected. Be fair to all. Prosperity message. Now's the time for even exchanges. Justice will prevail and you will be treated accordingly. In all your affairs, you'll be able to negotiate fair settlements. Mutual gain is the gift to you and your partners and colleagues. This is also a good time to square your finances and take stock of how you're compensated for your work. This card signifies balance, justice, and negotiations. So remember that all things must be fairly recompen recompensed? Recompensed? Never saw that word in my life. Recompensed. Keep this as your truth so it will be. Yeah, this whole like this group of feeding power and energy off of other people to like, take power externally versus just owning their power from within, things are about to be balanced. They're getting cut off from that so that people who've done their work, who understand their inner power can own that and flourish as a result of that because it's theirs. You can't take what's not yours, right? And yes, this will probably transpire on the global scale of things, public scale of things over the, in the months to come as an effect of that. Okay. Everything that happens on an individual level in the collective eventually transpires to the global stage, right? Because everything internally reflects externally. That's why you can't take externally. It all comes from within. All right. So let me keep going. Protection message. Injustice and inequity are part of life. They do not have to define your experience. This is a time when you may observe an injustice righted and fairly redressed perhaps you come to rescue to the rescue of someone else or are called to answer for a personal slight you will be amazed by the sense of power it literally says power that surges through you when you stand up for yourself and others this card also indicates a good time to advocate for others who are less fortunate choose your cause and commit to it because you can make a difference one thing is for certain if fairness is your intention the situation will be resolved for the highest good of all concerned through acts of kindness, empathy, and courage. If fairness is not your intention, this is me talking. If fairness is not your intention, that's not what you're going to get back, right? Everything internally reflects externally. That's why you can't take power externally from others because it's not yours. It's not. Wow. So another note on that actually in March, we have Saturn moving into Aquarius, which is very exciting. I talked about this in the last, in the full moon live that I did, where Saturn from now to the rest of 2020 is going to be moving from Capricorn 25 degrees to Aqua 1 degree because it retrogrades in May, right? So we're going to be bouncing back and forth in, in that range. So just check your charts and what house that's affecting for you on a personal level. That's where you're going to feel a lot of focus, a lot of focus, a lot of need to be disciplined, and a lot of need to do a lot of like focus, discipline, rigorous sort of work. Like routine and just interesting I just heard routine routined work for some of you um within that aspect of your life of course Saturn moving into Aquarius also shifts a focus onto innovation uh humanitarianism technology all of that needs to happen in 2020 to get to a place of stability because that's what 2020 is about it's about innovation it's about stability all of us need to get get that realization come into our truths own it accept it and start doing what it is we really want to do and the kind of work we really want to do that's just going to gear us all towards exactly what needs to happen technology needs to advance masculine energies once they heal and become become i keep wanting to say it like that once these masculine energies heal and get to a place of rebirth they're going to be at the forefront of technology this is energy this is not gender okay i can't stress that enough energy not gender okay you're going to see men and women doing this as well well, feminine energies are going to nurture, they're going to grow, they're going to expand, and they're going to be a little bit more in the driver's seat, while masculine energies support all of these goals, okay? <coughs> 
This is taking us into a more sustainable society over time in the years to come. All right. Okay, guys, I will see you guys soon. I hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget to check out um, Vimeo and Patreon and have a great night. Namaste.